Master Shenhua. My work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Um... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand.
Hello, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Liu. I'll try another settlement. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suzu Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. We'll Hi there. I've heard about you. You're Shen Hua's friend, aren't you? The name's Hazuki. Oh, ho ho You look strong! Um... A young man like you needs a snake power. It's a bottle of snake power. Why this? Deadly snake venom, fermented for three months. It's just one of the medicines that'll help you in battle. It'll fix you up good. I... see... I think. I always sell it here at my shop, in case you forget. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there, but that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> Yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? Uh, nope. He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? 
Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuen's place too? I don't know. Yuen was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye-bye, mister! Bye! Have you learned anything new, Liu? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. It's pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you 
Heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. What say you? Will you join us? Yes, absolutely. Very well. What is your name? Ryo, Hazuki. I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, the herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes, that's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. 
It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So you can find your way back to the square, if you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Hi there. Zhe Xiang. What gives, young lady? Have we met or something? It's me, Shen Hua. Shen Hua? Look at you! You've grown like a weed since we last met. Have you seen the thugs that came here recently? Thugs, huh? I'll help you get rid of them. They don't call me the Lu Bu of Bai Lu Village for nothing. Zhe Xiang. Did you say Lu Bu? Wasn't he a bit of a thug himself? Wait, what? You sure? Well, you might have noticed, but this ain't no freaking school. Right. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? Yue Fang, this is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shen Hua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again. <laughs> okay then. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shen Hua, wh what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? I need help with something. Hmm? I'm looking for Wang Wen. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Ming Yang. Wh wh what Shen Hua? Did you see Wang Wen or not? I saw her heading toward the Verdant Bridge. Thanks, Ming Yang. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Shenhua. This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, Wen. Th Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. On his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes. Let's go find him. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah.
Zhu Xiong. What is it, Rio? Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? Ah, oh, right, the pale toss guy. I'd never forget that mug of his. Thanks. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah, that guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. And lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me and I'll tell you. How about it? Pretty good. Not yet. Okay. I think I can recall some things now. <laughs> so, where can I find someone who saw the thugs? Oh, right. Witnesses. I heard they gave the bookie running the flower, bird, wind, and moon games some trouble. Where can I find this person? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. Oh, really? Excuse me. Yo! Need some tokens? Actually, I need some help. I'd like to talk to the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. Eh, sorry, bud. I haven't seen him. I'd tell you to come earlier, but we all operate on bookie time. When do you expect him? He usually shows up at 7 p.m. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Hey there! Try your hand at Flower Bird, Wind and Moon. Care to try it, handsome? I just have a question. Aw, oh, why so serious, buddy? I hear those thugs cause some trouble. You're telling me! It was awful! What happened? I'll tell you all about it, if you play around. You gotta win, naturally. <laughs> I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on, flower, bird, wind, or moon? This one. Coming in. You've beaten me! Things are just heating up! What happened with the thugs? They came in here, busted everything up, and stole my money! I've lost a fortune! I'll make this right, I promise. Tell me more. All right, might as well. Two of them came here that night. One was a big, long-haired guy. The other had his head shaved. Showing off his spider tattoo. A big long-haired guy and a bald man with a spider tattoo on his head. Got it. They kept threatening me, asking where the stonemason lives. I tried to act tough. Told them to have a look around the village square so they'd buzz off. So that's how they found Joe and Wong's houses. Then they came back to yell at me because they didn't find who they wanted. I handed over some money and they let me go, saying something about the Sunflower Grove. The Sunflower Grove. Got it. Thanks. That's a huge help. 
It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? I'm heading for the Sunflower Grove. I heard that's where the thugs went. Are you serious? If you find them, then you should be able to find out where my father is. That's the plan. Don't worry. I'll find them. Thank you so much. What's the Sunflower Grove like? It's jam-packed with sunflowers, for starters. It's quiet out there, just flowers and some old ladies raising cattle. That sounds nice. Kids like to play around there, though, so it can get a bit loud. I hope they don't get mixed up with those thugs. Me too. I really hope I find those thugs tomorrow. Me too. Before they bother any of the kids. Agreed. Please be careful, okay?